welcome to another video. This is William Shakespeare the fourth and today we're gonna go over 10 beginner tips for skate parks. Things that you can utilize and do in skate parks to prevent yourself from being embarrassed or hurt. Wear a helmet. Don't be embarrassed. Everybody's doing it. It's literally the cool thing to do now. So wear a helmet when you're first starting off. If you're not comfortable with your skateboard, it is a very dangerous thing and you don't want to bust open your perfect beautiful melon head. Number two, there's a bit of a learning curve, but you have to try to figure out where the starting points for skate obstacles are. As in the common locations where people stand before they skate a certain obstacle, you don't want to be in the way, but I will tell you this, the best way to avoid being in the way is not to stand directly in front of any of the obstacles at the skate park. Number three is very simple. Don't let your board sit on the coping as if you're about to drop in, but you actually don't. If you put your tail down on the coping, go in as fast as possible because when somebody's coming towards you and your tail is sitting there, your board is a threat to their existence. Number four, I would say don't practice flat ground tricks in a skate park at all unless it's huge and there's a lot of empty areas. Go outside the skate park, don't practice in front of obstacles. A lot of times skate parks are in parks or there is some kind of flat ground like a parking lot or something outside of it. If you do want to practice flat ground, that's something you can usually do either at home or a lot of places outside of the skate park. The skate park is mainly for skating those obstacles. Flat ground is everywhere. You don't need the park for it. Number five is don't wax anything you're not going to skate. This is a message for experienced skateboarders as well. Don't yell at people for waxing things that you're not going to skate. Simply enough, you're affecting the way something rides. It's like if people are surfing and you don't surf and you're like, I'm randomly gonna make these waves three feet shorter, 10 feet taller. I don't know if that's a good rep, uh, metaphor, but it's just better to avoid confrontation. But before I continue with the next five, I do want to say that I do weekly tutorial videos like this on my Patreon every single week. So every Monday, I upload a new video about skate beginner trick tips, about skating culture, or just a very specific thing about how to learn a certain skate trick. So you can check that out. Link down below in description or patreon.com slash John Hill. It's only $5 a month to basically be a part or to, to have access to every single one of these videos, especially all the ones that I've already done, you'll have access to. So check it out. Link down below if you are an avid person who wants to figure out skating, learn how to skate, or you're just interested in skate culture in general, it's a perfect Patreon for your smelly, hot, beautiful face. Number six is something that I need to keep in mind, but don't sit or set up your camera on any obstacle in the park if there are people skating. So when people start flowing into the skate parks, I like to set my camera up tripod and document whatever I'm doing on a skateboard. But if people are in there, you start setting up your camera outside the skate park. You don't want to obstruct anyone at all. That's kind of the main point of this whole thing. Number seven might seem a little harsh, but if you fall, get out of the way as fast as possible. No matter how injured you think you are, make the attempt to put yourself out of the skate park because you're mainly the one in danger. I've seen people lying on the ground and other people running into them, and it is a bad thing to watch to get doubly hurt. So try to avoid that. But also as you're moving out of the skate park, keep in mind that people are going all around you. So don't bank on the idea that everybody else has it figured out. It's each and every person's job to try to avoid running into anyone else. This one's a little strange and I think some people might disagree, but I think if people have headphones on, they don't want to talk. Some people do go to skate parks as if it's like a gym. They go just to sort of train and work out. And I think making friends at skate parks is sort of the beautiful thing about skate parks. So if you see people with the headphones on, I would say avoid them. But with other people, maybe you're the guy who has the wax or you have the skate tool. And when people ask who has the skate tool or who has wax, you can be the guy and that can spark a conversation. But it's just like any other environment. You do want to just talk to people about skating, cheer people on. Don't laugh at people if they fall, even if you think it's a cute way to make friends with someone. Number eight is basically just a rule about how to make friends at skate parks. I'm important. Number nine, if you are the guy who wants to avoid people, go to skate parks hella early. If you're always wondering why there's nobody in the skate parks when I'm skating them in my videos, typically, it's because I'm always at the skate park around 7 a.m. Nobody's there, especially in New York, until about noon. It's also a good way to avoid all of the rules I've told you so far, and then you can just do whatever you want because you have the skate park to yourself. And number 10, this one actually might be the most practical, but when you are skating obstacles, if you want to avoid snaking people, which is basically cutting people off, taking other people's turns, I would pick one individual who's in the line of people who are skating the same obstacle as you to go after every time. So if there's four people skating the same obstacle and they keep coming back with you, you're skating the obstacle, you're coming back, 
pick one person and go after that guy every single time. The only issue is if he is snaking people too, then you will be someone else who is snaking. So try to make sure that each person goes in the same order, individually, one at a time. Don't cut off anyone. That's a perfect way to make everyone hate you. And it's just rude, really. You wanna take turns. every 15 tricks or so and that was fun to actually just sit there and do tricks for a long part of the rail instead of a short part does that make sense this session i'm about to have i'm going to designate each trick towards one of my patrons right now and this first crooked grind to fakie is going to chris hall And I do hope you enjoyed this video. If it did bring you any value, please smash that like button. Or if you want to go to this Patreon, link down below, check that ish out. Human beings, I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video. I love you so much. Progress daily and keep telling us. Sean, are you okay, dude?